Wind energy is becoming increasingly important as a clean and renewable energy source. It could help to reduce fossil fuel costs and avoid the emission of millions of tons of CO2. In this framework, offshore wind farms play an important role in renewable power generation. They produce higher amounts of energy compared to their onshore counterparts because they benefit from stronger and steadier wind, free of all obstacles like buildings, hills or mountains. But there are some issues linked to this technology that researchers are trying to overcome. Most of the existing offshore wind farms transmit their power to the mainland using high voltage alternating current. The problem with this technology is that too much energy is lost in the cable when the wind turbines are located very far from the mainland. This problem can be solved with high voltage direct current transmission that has much lower losses. Another problem that the industry is facing nowadays is that if a cable is lost, all the energy from the wind farm is also lost. In Demo 1 of the EU Best Paths project, researchers study the possibility to interconnect offshore wind farms with HVDC grids to improve the availability of power. In case of failure in a cable, energy is sent to the mainland using an alternative route. This is the National Smart Grid Laboratory, located in Trondheim, Norway, operated by Sintef, a non-profit research institution in cooperation with the Norwegian University of Science and Technology. Here, researchers are testing new direct current transmission technologies with this demonstrator that reproduces exactly the behavior of a real offshore wind farm. It means it can reproduce the variable and intermittent power generation, typical of an offshore wind farm. In this way, researchers can use this laboratory to develop and test different types of power converter solutions, built in different times and by different manufacturers, and see how they can coexist. In this lab, researchers are also able to identify problems that could happen in a real system before they occur in an expensive infrastructure. What we see in these cabinets behind me are the three converters that have been developed in the Best Paths project. They are a small-scale simulation of real converters installed in offshore wind farms. This laboratory is unique because it is the only one at this level of power and flexibility. Thanks to these machineries, researchers and industry can come to this laboratory and test their models and their algorithms for the future of offshore wind energy. Researchers hope their work will help increase the penetration of offshore wind energy in the grid.